Our oceans are vast, spanning two-thirds of the planet and accounting for 97% of our water. But now, our seas have become monsters because of climate change. As a storm chaser and adventurer, I've spent years traveling all over the world documenting the most extreme forces of nature. But now, I'm going after the bigger picture of climate change. In the last five years, I've witnessed increasingly violent storms, flooding, and hurricanes that have devastated communities in Thailand, the Philippines, and the USA. More and more, I'm seeing that much of our extreme weather is directly connected to climate change. Scientists agree that oceans are getting hotter and higher, making them unpredictable and dangerous. The last 12 months have brought some really bad news in terms of sea level rise. It's just rising fast, now it's 3.2 millimetres a year. Places like, like Tuvalu and the Pacific Islands, the low-lying atoll countries, are in real trouble. I mean, they will go under the sea. At some point this century, they'll go underwater. I'm on my way to the tiny island nation of Tuvalu to investigate this firsthand. Located in the Pacific Ocean, midway between Australia and Hawaii, Tuvalu is a cluster of nine islands. My arrival here in Tuvalu is ominous. There's torrential rain and the whole area is flooded. This is the wet season. And we're in an area that's a South Pacific convergent zone where you've got different wind currents coming together, which then go up, creating rain and thunderstorms and tremendous amounts of flooding, it seems. With only 10 square miles of dry land, Tuvalu is one of the smallest countries in the world. An average elevation of six feet makes Tuvalu extremely vulnerable to storms and sea level rise. The rains are incredible. All over the island, people are struggling to keep their homes dry. Usually when this place floods out, it's from the sea, which is about 30 yards that way. Today, torrential thunderstorms, fresh water flooding. This island can't catch a break. I meet with local meteorologist Tuala Katea. So it's, it's been a busy 24 hours for you. You've never seen this much rain no. in 24 hours. And we measure around 340, 47. Millimeter in one day. That sounds like something you'd get That's on a mountainside history. in a cyclone. That's history. And it's not linked to any tropical cyclone or what. I mean, it's just a rain band, a convention zone, really active right on top of two. Right, just perfectly aligned right on top of the island for yes. hours and hours yes, and hours. Yes. Tuvalu experiences seasonally high tides that the locals call king tides. But in the last few years, these tides have been changing. We call it king tides. That's the normal high tide. The normal high tide, but it's higher than normal. If the king tide was yesterday, combined with the oh, storm and the flooding, oh, and maybe oh, some, a little yes. bit of surge from the yes. storm, that oh. would be catastrophic. Yes, of course. Because of our elevation, really low, so low-lying places and um, coastal areas get inundated and eroded. It's not just you that's being affected. Mm. It's everyone else. It just so happens that your island is very low. Yes. So it's going to be seen here first. We are the front line. Tuvalu has few natural defenses against these high tides. One thing the locals have done is to try and help prevent the king tides by putting these barrels filled with concrete. Of course, not really working so well here. A few of them have been knocked down during a storm. The concept seems sound, but the implementation, I don't know. The island can barely cope with tropical downpours, let alone more storms. 